What's going on, FM fam? It's your boy A. So we got some more unboxing. Got some more tools. Y'all wanna see what I got from Harbor Freight? Ah, not Harbor Freight, the Home Depot. Yes, Home Depot. What did Fluff get from Home Depot? You know, I've been on a freaking buying craze of tools. So stick around to see what, 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 what did I get? All right, what, what bad decisions did I make now? Let's get it. All right, so as y'all know, I have been purchasing a crazy amount of power tools, right? Now, as I mentioned before, I love my Infinium line. But y'all saw a couple videos ago, my Infinium line done got um, overtaken pretty damn good. <sighs> so, I just want to start off with something that I received finally because I sent this tool out the beginning of September and in order for me to let him send my tool out I said yo make me a deal on the on this other tool okay because I, ne I needed this tool no matter what this this a heavy diagnoser for me it's a heavy diagnosing tool that I use for everything I really don't use my multimeter unless I need to ohm something out or check amperage, which is rare, okay? I like quick power checks and I don't like having to find a good ground, okay? This tool offers a good ground. So I finally got back, or he gave me <clears throat> a brand new Maestro, or not Maestro, the Power Probe 3 EZ in carbon. I had this already and I sent it out because the speaker went out, right? Stupid little complaint. But still, if you pay $300 for something, you expect it to work and work right. Okay, that audible tone lets me know whether I have good ground or good power without even looking at the circuit board or not the circuit board, but the voltage meter. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna open it up and show y'all what we got in here. Oh shit. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. What is this? Nah, no, that's nothing important. But yeah, we got um, Power Probe. Power Probe 3 EZ. Um, apparently, there's some tricks that you can do. You can do this upside down thing, and the meter will read right up, right? Yeah, uh, I didn't know that, but. But definitely happy to have my power probe back compared to the power probe uh maestro because that maestro is so bulky it's like maybe three times thickness is this and so yeah i'm glad to have this power probe back now i can um who needs instructions nope not me what else is in here no sticker no sticker and they got cheap Oh yeah, thank you. All right, so main thing of this video. All right guys, y'all know I got the half inch Milwaukee, three eighths Milwaukee, and that one. Yeah, uh, hold on, give me a second guys. Okay. Look, this Milwaukee stands straight up without even need, having, having a battery or needing a battery. Unlike that Snap-on, that Snap-on couldn't, wasn't balanced. So yeah, we got half inch, three eighths. We got the drill driver. Um, huh. 3.0 battery. Uh, what is this? Uh, 2.0? <clears throat> which came with this bought this off of somebody else <clears throat> so let's scoot these aside let's have them in frame let's put this one right over here battery right there now what could i have possibly gotten received 
or whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna start off. Uh, we'll start off right here. What is this, guys? Can y'all guess? Uh, maybe that picture gives it away. But yes, um, damn. Haven't even opened this up. I opened up the other thing. We we're messing around in the shop, seeing how awesome that new tool is. But. I just went crazy on this. Look at that. Look at that. Let's put this in here. Oh, that sounds real weak. But yeah, that's with the 2.0 battery. Nobody uses a 2.0 battery in this. So. What could I, I have got? What could I have got? Uh, it came with a 4.0 battery. I actually have the 3.0 in here. I've already opened it. So the 4.0 is actually on this guy right here. This 3.0 I've already had. Okay. I got it mixed up because I had the 4.0 on the charger. So let's swap these out. 4.0 goes there, 3.0 can go on this guy or utilize this one. So there we have that. Let me get a socket. Let me get a socket. Can I get a socket? All right, got myself a socket. All my sockets are underneath this lid, so I didn't want to have to move everything, but. Whew. Oh. Oh, that compared to I'm gonna have to really test these two out. Y'all know the infinity. Love it. We got that. That's nice. That's real nice. Then we got Woo. Woo. That one's even nicer. Dang. So this one, I don't I don't even know the specs on this. What is the spec on this? 250, I think. 220, depending on the battery. We got a 4.0 battery in there. Pretty freaking compact too. Something I do like about this. Uh yeah, it's damn near the same size. Battery size. Look at that. Oh my god. It's a little wider, but they both got slight angle. This one's a little more angled. It's a little more taller too. Man. Why do these guys almost look the same? Look at the top profile. Hmm. That's weird. Anyways, I'm gonna bust something else out that I'm really, really, really excited about. I'm actually the first person in the shop to own one of these. Okay. Saw JT Online Mechanic Tips get one. And I've been wanting one for a few weeks already. Um, since I first got to demo it. Shout outs to my Mac guy. Because um, he had it with him. And uh, I was like, hey. Let me try this out real quick. Let me use it real quick. Took off a, and actually took off a stubborn bolt. I was like, whoa, this thing is too damn powerful. So yes, guys, this is the Milwaukee um, right angle impact. This thing supposedly does 220 foot pounds of breakaway torque, but we think it does more. We took some lugs off earlier with this. And it did a lot better than the snap-on. So a right angle did better than a snap-on. What sense does that make? Okay. We could put a 2.0 battery on here. Okay. Then it did come with um, 2.5 high output. 
think. Yeah, it came with this one. No, I don't remember. I got, guys, I got these for less than $300. All of this at Home Depot. They had a crazy deal going and I had to, I had to hop on it. And if you open up a, an account, they give you like $20 off, $25, yeah. So it came out, yeah. did good, did real good. Okay, so here's the two point, what is it? Oh, 2.5 high output. really looks nice of course that needs to be charged up wow guys can y'all believe this can y'all believe fluff I can't I can't not too long ago I was like man I ain't getting no damn Milwaukee's now we got a whole lineup of Milwaukee don't know how good, how bad, whatever. Um, Cause it actually does scare me that Matco is wanting to do away with some of the Infinium stuff. And that is scary. So, like I said, 3.8 Stubby, 3.8 Mint Torque, half inch high output or high torque drill driver drill driver not a drill it's a drill driver okay not a screw gun although I did find out that Milwaukee does have a screw gun and then uh, the this cool thing this seems more powerful than this guy right here and this is air what sense does that make it makes none it makes none, guys. But yeah, the size. <laughs> Looks real similar. That is insane. But y'all convinced me to buy Milwaukee, and now I went crazy with buying Milwaukee, and now I don't know what I'm going to do with all these power tools. Anyways, if you can, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn your post not notification bells on so you don't miss another upload. And hell, guys, got some videos right here. Click on either one. Subscribe right there. I got eyes Deuce. in the back of my head. I'm seeing take me for granted. And you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I